the myth, the legend, Bob Babbitt. And he did the race today. He did the sprint. So I got to ask you first, how was your race going? My race was amazing, but more importantly, you won. <laughs> Mother of two, winning here in the really it's the inaugural now Herbalife yeah. LA try. What'd you think? It was a great day. I mean, the swim was awesome. It was a tough Waves, swim. Right? I mean, I came out just like toasted. Um, on the swim, when I was coming out of the water, I ended up getting tossed by a wave and did like a flip, you know, back in the sand, water up the nose, and so I mean, it was a hard swim. The bike. Um, I like the bike. It was a fast bike. Really fast. Um, you know, I, my legs didn't have it today on the bike, though. You know, sometimes in the yeah. triathlon, you feel good in one, you don't feel good in the other. Um, fortunately, when I got to the run, I felt good, and it was a very hilly run, but I like the hills. You like hills? I like hills. Because there's so many hills in St. Louis. <laughs> uh, how do you trade for hills like this when you're in St. Louis? You know what? We live in Eureka, and it's at the base of the Ozark Mountains, so okay. we have lots of hills. Okay. So, On the bike, especially. But. What I like about this race, you know, you talk about three when you've got swim bike run, swim in the ocean, deal with the waves, a cross city ride, right? Yeah, yeah. Wide open. Yeah. You're really, if somebody's drafting, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. It's about as pure a ride you get. And a run with the hills, and the best person's gonna win. You win the race. But what do you think about this being back in LA yeah. and having some money yeah. for, for the pros? You know, so, I, I don't know if I. I mentioned this too, but um, my first professional win was here in 2005. Was it really? Yeah, yeah. This is my first first pro race, um, first win, first non-draft race on a road bike. <laughs> um, this is, you know, back in my early years. Um, and then, um, so to come back with this race again, um, it's so it's special, you know, kind of the start of my career sure. winning this race, the end of my career winning this race. What do you mean, end of your together. career? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> end of your career, um, you're 14 years later after your first pro race, and you're racing probably as well, as good as ever, and you're 14 years older with two kids. Yeah, yeah. Well, Why hang it up? Well, um, I just feel like at this point in, in my life, it's time for us to figure out what's next. I can't do this forever. And at the same time, um, you know, my kids are, my daughter, she'll be six in July. She's yeah. getting older. She's, you know, she wants to do a triathlon too. So, you know, I want to make sure she's able to, you know, be there for all her, exactly. her endeavors and her goals and her dreams. And I don't want my triathlon to, to take that away. Yes, I mean, this is my job. It's been a great job. I've supported the family, but I know I can't do this forever. Um, yes, you can. <laughs> That's what's great. This is the fountain of youth. Well, you can do this. Right. You yeah, will be participating. Uh, yeah. You'll always I be mean, participating. I, I, exactly. Like, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying that this is like, I'm not ever going to do a triathlon. Um, right. But to do this, right now, this is my full-time job supporting the entire family. So I know I need to, we need to, you know, expand on that. Yes. Um, I have talked about, though, um, like part-time racing, like coming back and doing like, the few Olympics that there are, like doing St. Anthony's, like doing this race, um, you know, just kind of a couple races a year. So we have talked about that. Not like completely retiring, but... I've got an idea for you. <laughs> yeah. We find some visually impaired American woman who's looking for a great partner for the Paralympics. <laughs> that would be something really fun. That would you would really love cool. that. Some of my friends are doing that. Yes. Oh, yeah. So. I think I've got an athlete for you. So this thing about yeah. retirement, we're talking about just starting out. Sarah Haskins, champion, Herbal Life, LA triathlon. 14 years, 15 years after doing this for the first time. Watching the clock was once my enemy Under the water looking up The time won't let me down Cause good things come and good things go But the more I grow, the more I know That time is a friend of mine Drifting in the 
rain my threshold will never know there'll be the sweetest love i've seen and time won't let me down because good things come for the Urban Life 24 Triathlon LA. In third place, she hails from Claremont, Florida. She had a time today of two hours, two minutes, and four seconds, just about as fast as you, huh? She'll be taking home $2,000. Let's welcome Alicia K. In second place out of Bend, Oregon. She went in at 201.25. Let's welcome Heather Jackson. And your women's elite champion of the Herbal Life 24 Triathlon Los Angeles. She had a day of 201.06. As a matter of fact, this was her first professional win of her professional career back in the day. She's from Eureka, Missouri. Let's welcome your champion, Sarah Haskins. something a little extra for Sarah here Sarah just so you know on behalf of the California State Senate and we've got another one here a certificate, uh, a certificate of recognition uh, for the councilman of this district because this took a lot of work to put on so the California and the councilman of this district an extra commendation for this great great achievement So right there, let's get a great picture of our three champions. Come on, there you go. Beautiful. And Sarah, instead of having you come down, I'll just let you grab the mic and say whatever you want. Um, well, I just want to thank um, everyone who worked so hard to put on this race. Um, Herbalife 24, all the sponsors, all of the race organizers, the volunteers. Um, it's great to have this race back in downtown LA after five years. It was a lot of fun today. It was so much fun swimming in the ocean, getting to ride through closed streets in LA. That really doesn't ever happen. And getting to run. I really, I love the hills on the run course. I think it makes it go by fast. And, uh, and also, I want to thank these ladies up here today. They pushed me hard. Heather had an awesome race, and so did Alicia. We've all been racing together for a long time. Um, it's great to start my career here with a win, and it's great to finish my career here with a win. So thank you, uh, and thanks to the fans and the supporters for the cheers, bringing me all the way to that finish line. It was a great finish line feel today. Congrats to all those who raced. One more time for Sarah. Heather, there we go. And Alicia, yeah. Congratulations, guys. Recover well. <laughs>